Welcome to the Sports Science Hub's guide to everything you need to know about the fundamentals of the skeletal system. We will help you understand the different types of bones throughout our skeleton, the roles of different joints, and the various functions the skeletal system perform. Let's get started. The skeletal system is the body's structural framework, made up of different types of bones and joints. Just like a car needs a chassis, or a skyscraper needs steel frames, we wouldn't be much use without our skeleton. The skeletal system can be divided up into two parts. The axial skeleton is the central core of the body that consists of the skull, vertebral column, ribs and sternum. And the appendicular skeleton, which includes the shoulder girdle, bones of the arms, wrists and hands, and bones of the legs, ankles and feet. Altogether, we have a total of 206 bones throughout our body, which are made up of five different types of bones. Long bones have a cylinder-type shaft with widened ends, such as the humerus or femur. Short bones are cube-shaped and are similar in length and width, such as carpals in our hands or tarsals in our feet. Flat bones are strong, thin, flat plates, such as the scapula or sternum. Irregular bones are unique and are unlike any other type of bone, such as vertebrae or the sacrum, and sesamoid bones that are usually short or irregular bones embedded in with a tendon, such as the patella. All bones have unique responsibilities, and in order to help them to successfully perform their individual tasks, the majority of bones have different surface markings. Depressions are flattened or intended portions of bone, and processes are protruding sections of the bone where muscles, tendons and ligaments can attach. The vertebral column is a unique set of 33 bones called vertebrae that house and protect our spinal column. Seven vertebrae make up the cervical curve, 12 make up the thoracic curve, 5 make up the lumbar curve, another 5 make up the sacral curve which are fused together, and finally another set of fused vertebrae that consist of only 4 vertebrae make up the coccyx or tailbone. Where two or more bones meet is called a joint. There are three different types of joints. Fibrous joints are held by dense fibrous tissue that do not allow any movement such as teeth held in their sockets. Cartilaginous joints are articulating bones connected by cartilage, which only allow for a small amount of movement, such as ribs or between vertebrae in our spine. And finally, synovial joints, the most common joint in the body. These joints produce synovial fluid that allows for a wide range of movements. There are six different types of synovial joints. Pivot joints only allow rotational movement, such as in your neck when shaking your head no. Hinge joints act just like a door hinge and only allow flexion and extension of a joint in one direction, such as our elbows or knees. Saddle joints act just like riding a saddle, where one bone saddles another. These joints allow forwards, backwards and side-to-side -side movements, such as in our thumbs. Ball and socket joints are made up of a round end of one bone sitting into a cup-like area of another. These joints allow movement in almost all directions, such as our hips. Condyloid joints fit one bone into a cavity of another, and only allows you to bend and straighten and move side to side, such as in our wrists. Gliding joints have no axes of rotation and can only glide forward and back or side to side, such as in our ankles. The body is in a constant process of making new bone. This is called remodeling. Osteoblasts are cells that lay down new bone tissue. Osteoclasts are cells that break down and remove old bone. Collectively, the whole skeletal system can provide a number of different functions. 
protection to our vital organs, such as our rib cage or our skull. It provides our distinctive shape and provides the framework for muscles and soft tissues to attach to. It keeps our organs in place whilst we move and keeps us upright. It allows for all human movement using bones as levers when acted on by muscles. And production of red and white blood cells in our bone marrow. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, then please help others find our videos and hit the like button below and subscribe to our channel now. You can also find us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Don't forget to also visit our website www.sportsciencehub.com for more videos on everything you need to know about sports science. See you soon.